Okay, we're still on section 14.6, and we're going to talk about, I guess, two applications, sure, of, uh, of the gradient. And let's see, let's talk about this uh, really shoddy approximation problem. It's, it's, it's called estimating change. I don't really see it on exams, so it's more of a homework type of problem. And the question is shown above, 14.620, um, by how much will f of x equals that dude change as the point p of x y moves from the origin in the direction of 2 2 negative 2 um, or distance of ds um, is equal to 0 0.1 so in plain english essentially is that we have uh we're, we're at the origin right the point p is at the origin and we're moving in the direction of 2 2 negative 2 so we're moving in this direction right and then um we're moving a distance of ds, all right, which is equal to 0 0.1. And so you, we want to estimate then um, how much, what the, like what the functional value here is compared to this point at the origin. So uh, what's the change in the function value? And so how do we do that? Uh, is this formula in the textbook? Of course, it's a formula in the textbook. Um, but the change in the function is called df. Okay, so that's the change in the function value, the change in the function value df is equal to the gradient of f evaluated at the point p uh, dotted with u, all right, which is, uh, you know, a, so it should be u hat, right, because it has to be um, a unit vector, and then we multiply that by ds. So really simple. Um, in our case, the gradient of f is, okay, so partial of x stays the same. All right, partial of y, you get negative e to the x sine, uh, or negative z e to the x sine y z, and then uh, partial re respect to z, I get negative y e to the x uh, sine y z. Okay. And then now what? Okay, so now we got to evaluate this guy at the point, the the point, the origin, <laughs> which is then just one, zero, zero, okay. And uh, now what? Now we got dot it with u hat. Well, here's the direction we want to go in. And so what is u hat? Then u hat is equal to two to negative two divided by uh, the magnitude. So that's four plus four plus four, right? The square root of that. And this gets me bottom's 12. So it's like, you it's it's one or it's yeah it's one root three hold on i'm, I'm doing something really dumb here yeah, yeah yeah one root three one root three negative one over root three okay and so now we dot it df dot with u hat well that's just gonna be one root three right because uh, i'm only taking the first value one times that guy and then now we got to multiply this with ds and that's equal to 1 root 3 times 0 0.1 i have no idea what this is but this is the correct answer uh to this problem so this is the change in the function value it's going to increase by this much if we move from the origin to this point right here 0 0.1 from the origin so Interpret that for what you will. Um, again, not not terribly an important problem, but I'm just going to include it anyways because uh, it might show up on homework. Okay. Uh, the next problem is uh, 14642, and it's find the linearization of f of x y. Uh, f of x f of x y z is equal to uh, sine of x y over z at and let's just do part a which is pi over two, one, one, okay? So I wanna find, it's essentially a, a linear approximation of uh, this functional value at, uh, at this point in space. So how do we do this? Well, what we wanna do is we want to find, uh, we wanna evaluate the gradient. So, so the gradient of f what is this? Well, it's the partial of f of x, so that's cosine, or it's y cosine 
x, y over z. And then this is, what is this? This is x cosine x, y over z. And then the partial with respect to z is a little harder to uh, figure out. But if you, you have to use the quotient rule and you'll get negative sine x, y over z squared. And then, all right, so now uh, you got to evaluate it at the point. So now we got to evaluate this at blech, pi over 2, 1, 1. Okay, and what is that? That's equal to 1 times cosine of pi over 2, so that's 0. Um, here you get 1 times cosine of pi over 2, that's also 0. And you get negative sine of pi over 2 over z squared, which is 1 squared, and so you get minus 1. Okay, and so uh, 0, 0, minus 1 is the name of the game. And so we're trying to find a linearization, right? And how do we find a linearization? Well, it's the following. The linearization, which is L of x, y, z, is equal to, and let me pull up the equation from the textbook because that's all this really is, is going to be F of, uh, x naught, y naught, z naught, so f evaluated at the point, and then essentially you want to add um, you want to add the parsh, you want to add the gradient, okay, the gradient um, dotted with uh, x minus x naught, y minus y naught, z minus z naught, okay, so this is the linearization, you have you have uh, the point evaluated, uh, the, the, the function originally evaluated at the point uh, that's given, and then you want to do this gradient dotted with uh, x naught, y naught, z naught, uh, x minus x naught, y minus y naught, z minus z naught. So in our case, so what we got sine of, uh, right, we got sine of essentially pi over 2 over 1, and then we want to add 0, ugh. 0, 0, negative 1, so this should be gradient value at the point, um, dotted with x minus x naught, y minus y naught, z minus z naught, and okay, so this guy is 1 plus, and so these first two entries are 0, and then you got z minus, and then what is z naught? Well, z naught is 1, so that's going to be uh, our approximation, and then this ends up being is that the right point no yeah it's right so you get z right which is hold on <laughs> oh this is negative one right okay okay so i'm i think i was being dumb so i get minus z plus z minus one right and so now we end up with two minus z as our linear approximation and so this is the correct linear approximation okay i knew something was right wrong because i thought i was supposed to get a constant um so yeah so this is the linear approximation here right and what is this again it's it's like it's it's like the approximation of a line uh, of the function going in like like going in a direction really near your line so i don't know take that for what it's worth um, so essentially what it means is that, uh, so remember the function at the point, this was pi over two, one comma one, this was equal to one, right? So the function value was equal to one F of pi over two, one comma one was equal to one. And so what they're saying is that at somewhere really close to this, let's say F of pi over two plus 0 0.01, one minus 0 0.01, uh, 1 minus 0 0.01 right so this point this point right here is really close to the original point right and an approximation of this value is equal to 2 minus z or in this case it's 2 minus 0 0.99 which is around you know 1.01 .01. so this is going to be the approximate value of uh, the function uh, near of this point so it's the approximation of the function evaluated at this point right and this point is really close to uh, the original point given in the problem. So that's what this linearization is. And nothing too fancy. 
Um, the two-dimensional case, you just dumb it down. You just don't have the Zs. Um, so you just drop the Zs in the two-dimensional case. So uh, that's that. But here we're dealing with three dimensions. So we have the Zs. And yeah, I think that's it uh, for chapter for this section 14.6. There's something else about approximation. It's the error in standard linear approximation. That's just a massive pain in the ass. I'm not going to cover in these videos. Um, if it, it, it's more of a it's more of a will the professor do this type of deal where if he does then I'll cover it in class and if he doesn't then I won't touch it because it's it's just really it's, it's, it's annoyance so I don't want to deal with it okay next section is 147 which is an important section and 148 is even more important than 147 um, but these two next these next two sections are really important and uh, we'll move on to 147 then I'll see you guys in that video